We're all guilty of burying our faces in our phones, and now studies show it may be hurting more than just our social skills. Dr. Greg Logan joins us to explain how physical aches and pains that we're having can be traced to technology. Please welcome Dr. Logan. Now, what do you mean? So looking at my phone is hurting me physically? It could be, absolutely. It, it puts a lot of strain and stress, not only on the muscle, ligaments, and tendons, but also on the upper back and the shoulders. Mm. So it's absolutely a, a real problem. So this shooting pain I have that right here <laughs> is, is because of my cell phone. Oh, no, this is not good. No, so it's not. Tech neck. Tech neck, absolutely. It's a real thing, tech neck or te tech neck. Uh, it affects the uh, curvature here in the neck. So mm -hmm. um, just to illustrate that for you, I brought this, uh, this weighted ball here, okay? okay? So normally, a person should have a nice 43 degree angle and a curve in their neck. Uh -huh. So we're gonna do an illustration here. I'm gonna let you hold this ball, Bo Beth, straight out just like that, with a straight <laughs> wrist, it's just like oh that. Oh my God! Oh, no, straight wrist this like this. This is heavy! So how long oh. do you think you can hold that there for? Not even 10 seconds, how no. heavy is this ball? So realize that, let's pretend oh. like this is the head, <sighs> this is the upper back muscles, and I'm sure you're even feeling it in your shoulders, right? Uh, yes, I'm feeling it everywhere. So <laughs> if your neck is down or straight, straight, like as if you were looking at a mobile device, you're gonna put all that strain on the stress and the tissues. But if I allowed you to hold it back here like this, like a shot put, uh -huh. see how long you can hold it for now. I can hold it for a while. Like because now one. there's that normal curve in that area mm. of the body, and that's the whole design of the muscle how ligaments heavy and tendons. Because this? this is pretty heavy. The reality is, is that's only six pounds. And, the, and the human head weighs as much as 10 to 12 pounds. So that's oh. like the weight of the bowling ball. Oh. So if you decrease that angle like this and you reverse the curve as much as 60 degrees, that's like having 60 pounds of pressure on your neck, your spine, and your tissues, or like an eight-year-old or oh, like one no. of those pooches that you have right. on there. So it, it, it's a real problem and it can lead to degenerative disc disease and joint decay at a more rapid rate. Well, what can we do to, um, to, to not have this? Well, the first thing is good hygiene, okay? So there's prophylactic measures as far as having good ergonomics and biomechanics on how you look at your device. So having your device up at eye level is okay. one, is one uh, way so that you can do it. So hold my phone in front of me while I Absolutely. drive. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you see why you no, drive? No, not why you drive. So we're not even supposed to do that. Okay. So be careful, He's everybody. He's so confused. He's like, what just happened? First. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, another way is to take frequent and often breaks in between intervals. I think everything in moderation is good. So uh, many times we're down at a prolonged amount of time, you right. know, 30, 45, even an hour, uh, but taking interval breaks maybe every 15 or 20 minutes mm -hmm. just to alleviate the stress and stretch out the areas of what your neck muscles. What about slumping necks? Yes, uh, slumping necks as far as posture, that goes back to ergonomics. So setting up your workstation if you're at work is a great way to do it. Um, making sure that your computer station is at the top third of your eye level. So right. your screen should be at the top one third of the eye level, and that will help uh, stresses of either A, looking down as if you were looking at a laptop, you could elevate it, or B, looking too high up, thinking that you're correcting it, because that could create also oh, strain as well. That's I know right. we're talking a lot about the spine, but I gotta tell you, and I of course have a phone here, so even if I'm trying to keep it up from my neck, you get wrist and thumb sore. Is That's that something right. anybody runs into at your office? It, it is very common as well because a lot of the nerves that come out of the neck travel and go down to the mm -hmm. arms, hand, and fingers. Okay. So carpal tunnel becomes a real issue now as far as wear and tear on the shoulder because now you're holding something right. elevated for a prolonged amount of time. So removing the pressure off of the nerves become very important as well. So we see a lot of patients and we treat a lot of those conditions at the office as well. Uh, using your hands a lot. Uh, everybody remembers the Blackberry? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they called it the Crackberry oh, yeah. for a while because people were so <laughs> addicted to it, right? Yeah. And so the addiction to the, the, that was causing arthritic problems in young thumbs. Wow. And now you're seeing an ongoing problem with the text claw or the, even the text uh, wrist. I know you were showing us earlier a graphic of how dramatic mm -hmm. the angle is when we are looking down. I don't know, is it that big of a difference between a 45 degree angle and how it impacts you? Absolutely. So for every inch that the head moves forward outside of normal, it puts as much as 10 pounds of extra pressure on the head and the spine. So it does impact it quite a bit. Wow. wow. All right. We're going to keep your office busy, I think. I know. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dr. Logan. You can check his Cheers. website out at uh, premiumhealthcare.com.